Hey everybody, what's going on? Sean here with Zero to Income. Today, what we are going to do is add some social icons for our social accounts down below in our footer right here. But here's the thing, we wanna add five, right? And we'd really like to have, rather than have images, we'd like to use some of the SVG code, which will have a tendency to just be a little bit more, uh, What's the higher resolution and viewable? So how do we do that? See, if we have four, we can do it. If we have three, we can do it. Uh, and if we have two, we can do it. And you can try and tweak this around. So let's just say that you wanted, you know, again, five. So let's just say you've got YouTube, you've got uh, TikTok, you've got Instagram, you've got Facebook, and you've got LinkedIn. So we've got five of them. Well, you can sit here and you can try and add different rows down here. Uh, like this and then you could maybe try and do a three and then maybe a two but notice now they're not the same size so now you're coming in here and you're trying to get these to be the same size and what you're running into here as you tweak these is they're not the same size and now what we've got is we've got four instead of five so something happened there so it just gets to be kind of a mess and um, what I found to be the easiest and I think the cleanest and also the most responsive is to use some CSS. So I'll, I'll post the CSS or I'll add the CSS uh, in a code uh, that you can download. Uh, I'll pop it into a Google uh, Doc for you that you can copy. Um, but we're going we're gonna to create a section down here where we're going to put our CSS. It's going to have five columns. And in each of those cells of each column, we'll have your social icon for one of your social accounts. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, first thing we're gonna do is just come down here, we're gonna grab, again, a row. We're gonna pop a row in. And then in that row, we're going to grab some raw HTML. We're gonna pop the raw HTML in there. And we're gonna click on that, and we're gonna edit the code. Okay, so here's my code that I've got saved. I'm going to pop this over here and okay, so we're going to pop in our code and then we are going to click on save. Now we've got all of our code and in here I've already got the icons already set up. If we go up here and click on the eyeball to view the site and then we scroll all the way down to our footer. There are our icons. Now, if we click on each one, I've got this set up also so that when they click on them, it's going to open up in a new tab. So right now it's just going to Facebook. You're going to want to go in here and you're going to want to add your link to each of these. And I'll show you how to do that here in a minute. So we go over here and click on that icon. And once again, there's Instagram opening up in a new window. And then here, uh, there's our LinkedIn. And then that should open up into YouTube, which it does. And then TikTok. It's going to also open up. Okay, so we got all those set up. Um, probably want to put a little bit more breathing room in here. So let me do that for you as well. What we're going to do is we're going to click back over here to the editor. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create that padding. And actually, I'm going to do margin because, again, margin is for space between elements. And I want some space between this row here and this row here. So I'm going to go into the row. I'm going to scroll all the way down here to our margin. And I want margin top and probably 20, could be 15. So everything kind of moved up there. And let's do a save once again. And again, so it's kind of close here. We're going to hit our eyeball. It's going to open up again. Scroll all the way down. And we got a little bit more space in there. Now, the other thing that I want to show you is I've made this code, this CSS, so that it's also uh, responsive. So it's uh, we've got nice, clean uh, SVG icons here. Uh, and then we've also got this set up so it's nice and responsive. And let me show you what that looks like. All right. So click on that. This little option right here gives you the option, gives you the uh, different dimensions. So right here, it's responsive. So scroll all the way down. Here we are. So here it is on a larger laptop. Scroll down to right about, uh, right around in here is the size of a, a Mac laptop. So scroll on down and watch as we go. See how those kind of drop with 
the screen size. Now if I go up here to an iPhone XR, again, see, nice and clean. Everything's responsive like we want. All right, so I'm going to X out of this. We're going to go back here. And I want to show you how do you put your own links in here. So next, what I want you to do is click into here, click on the raw HTML, go up to edit code. And what you want to do is you want to scroll down and you want to look for where it starts showing the Ahrefs lines. And then, and then right here are the different URLs for each of those icons. So the very first one of obviously is Facebook and I've made it so it's very easy to find. And you would just put in the slug at the end here for your particular Facebook page. Same thing here. You would go and add the slug for your particular Instagram, your LinkedIn, your YouTube and your uh, TikTok, and then simply just click on save and then you're good to go. All right. So that's how you add a five column uh, social accounts uh, with social icons in a footer of a system.io account. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, everybody.